today we're in the wilds of southern Tasmania on the hunt for the rare Land Cruiser fitted with the Kumo MT-71. One's been spotted down here and so we're on the hunt. I believe we're in its location it prefers. Oh, there it is. in its native environment. We'll roll some uh, footage we've managed to capture of it while I go and see if I can catch the owner, Chris. So here he is, I've tracked him down. The 200 series. <coughs> G'day Chris. Ah, g'day Jared. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here. How are you? <laughs> Good. It's the way. Um, now you've got some special tyres on this thing, um, yep. which you've been running for a little while now. First of all, give us a quick overview on the car itself, because it's, it's pretty different. It's pretty nuggety. It is. It is. Um, what is it? It's, it? What is it? It's a 2020 um, 200 series VX. Oh, so one of the old ones. One of the old ones. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. One of the really? old 2020s. Yep. <laughs> um, and... Uh, Pretty much got not much Toyota left on it anymore. It's uh, primarily the uh, Suspension lift suspensions, kit. lift kits. We got a superior engineering four inch lift kit. We've got uh, 35 inch mud tires on it, which is a pretty big tire for a Land Cruiser. Mm -hmm. um, and look, obviously you're going to get, you know, we're running a 35 inch tire. You know the characteristics of a 35 inch tire, meaning that um, they're going to they're going to train track a bit. They're going to do those sorts of funny things. But you know, when it comes to ground clearance, when it comes to um, you know, basically sidewall, all that sort of stuff. You've got you've got a lot of tyre there to, to push you in some in yep. off-road conditions. Yeah. Running 18 by 9 inch offset zero wheels. Um, we've got drawers, compressors, we've got everything in this truck. Yeah, cool. Which is pretty well kitted out. There is actually a, um, a video on this car if you want to go and actually see more about it. But let's talk about the tyres. Yep. Um, these are pretty aggressive mud tyres, Chris. Um, what are your initial thoughts on them? Well, when, um, you, when you first saw them, what were your thoughts? Well, when I first saw them, I saw them in the warehouse and uh, ready to go on this car as, as the new set after we were running um, the previous test tyres. And um, I was like, oh, these things are going to be super noisy. Um, but surprisingly, the characteristics of the, or the look of the tyre is not how they appear on the road. Yeah, it's right. not, you know, like, I mean, I looked and went, oh, way too uh, aggressive. This thing's going to be super noisy. Yep. Um, however, you know, like the mud terrains, you're always going to get noise out of. Um, it's a... It's a part of a mud terrain tyre. They're not a highway tyre. They're not a. They're not an all-terrain tyre. They're a mud tyre. They're designed yep. for doing the stuff we've been going out playing today. Um, yeah. So these have got super wide spaced shoulder lugs. Yep. Um, but the centre lugs are actually fairly tightly spaced. So on the road, just day-to-day -day driving, um, not too noisy. No, no, surprisingly not. Again, as I said I, th I thought they were going to be. I thought they were mm. going to be horrible. Yep. But um, no. And look, I've done like fifteen thousand k's on them now. Yeah. So. I don't know, 25, 30,000 k's when tyres start to get a bit older, they start to get noisier. So, I mean, I'd, I'll know more then yep. with it. So that's when uh, we need you guys to go out and buy some of these to actually give us a proper long-term test on this. So we run them for 10 to 15,000 k's, but it's also up to you guys to actually run them for longer and then leave a review on tyrereview.com.au so we can actually hear what they're like over the long term. So Chris, what were they like in the wet? I mean, this thing's all-wheel drive, so yep. you know, it's not like a, a, a tail-happy uterine or anything like that, but in the wet, what were they like? Um, look, <laughs> No understeer, like yeah, you know, right. you'll get you notice with a lot of lot of lot of a um, few tyres we've tested. You'll get you'll come through roundabouts and you'll feel it push through the front of the yeah. through the roundabout. These have been pretty good with that, you know. Um, even, even with aggressive driving. Even with even with aggressive driving. I mean, look honestly, as I said, I'm 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 you know quite impressed with them. I mean, I've noticed the bit of discoloration, if you like, to a brown sort of in the in the tyre. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I. I, and I don't know why that is. It's not super noticeable, but it's something I have noticed. It's a probably bit of a negative. Something a bit of tire black might hit, might might yeah, fix. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but look, over, overall, I mean, you know, like I said, as a mud tire goes, we've taken it to Climbies Track. We've taken it to the northeast coast. We've had some really rocky shaley yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and again, the tires haven't, you know, like we, we've abused them pretty heavily. And you, you know, sometimes we've had you after you've done something to that you'll see scratches and nicks and bits taken out of the yeah, tyre yeah. and, and it makes them look bloody a year old yes. you know, after you've used them pretty heavily. These have actually held up really, really well yeah. um, as far as the condition of the tyre. Awesome. So you're no chips, no no cracks or anything like that. No. You haven't had any flats on them? No, no flats. Because no, yep. no. I mean, climbies and the northeast are pretty, you know, climbies 
very muddy. Yep. Uh, northeast, very bony, very rocky. Correct. Um, yeah. So you're going to tear a sidewall out if there, if anything. Well, that's 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 what I was concerned of up there. And again, I was concerned of looking at the tyres after I'd done that, done a couple of days full driving up there that they were going to be total. Yeah. But again, they've held up really well. So. well. That's wicked. What would you rate these out of ten? You reckon? For a mud tyre, probably eight out of ten. Yep. I mean, you know, I don't think we've ever had a tyre that's rated ten out of ten. I don't know what that what that looks like. Um, That'd be pretty amazing, whatever it is. Um, but uh, you know, eight out of ten as far as on road. Um, you know, six out of ten. Um, but know. what do you expect from a mud tyre? What do you expect? It's, I mean, the, it's, a, it's a hard. It's, it's, it's hashtag mud tyre life, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's it's not really a compromise. You know what I mean? No. Um, I, I do drive this a lot on the road. Like like you know, again they they. Um, They've lasted well. Um, I've rotated and balanced them every 5,000 k's, yep. which I do because you smash them out a fair bit when you go full driving the, the alignment. So. Oh, it's also good to rotate these as well so they don't end up making lots more noise than they should do. Correct. But look, so far, really happy with them. Mm, and they look good on the rig as well. Yeah. That's, we all know that that's pretty much a key factor. <laughs> so cool. Thanks for uh, your review, Chris, on the Kumo MT71s. Um, tune in for more next time.